<laughs> hey guys, it's Sheridan from the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum. I work in the education department, and today we are going to teach you how to do clothespin dinos that you can do at your home. So I have about four different ones. Um, all you would need is a clothespin, pipe cleaners, I would cut a pipe cleaner in half, and then some googly eyes and markers. So today I'm going to color my dinosaur green. So then you want to color your your clothespin. I have a bigger clothespin, so there's different sizes. You can do um, the giant clothespins or the smaller ones, whichever you have at home. All right, so I'm gonna get mine all colored. You can pick whatever color um, you'd like. Dinosaurs came in all different colors. Um, so, I'm doing all mine green. Maybe I'll put some polka dots on it with a different color. So I'll put some, maybe some black polka dots on it. And there's my dino coloring right now. And then I'm gonna do the mouth, so in the middle. The mouth is kind of hard to color, so if you need a parent's help, just go ahead and ask them if they'll hold it for you, maybe. All right, so there's the mouth. So after that, I'm going to put my Google Eyes on. So I have self-adhesive Google Eyes, so they just have a sticker on them. Um, but you can use uh, liquid glue if you need to. Let me get this sticker off. You'd probably, if you have the self-adhesive, you'd probably need a parent's help for this as well. Let me see about this. You can do all sorts of eyes. You can do as many eyes as you want, different sizes, different shapes, anything you want. So I'm gonna put one right on the side here. So this is how mine is gonna look. Oh, it fell off, but remember you can just re-stick it. Google eyes are kind of hard to pick up, so you gotta be careful if you have little siblings around if you are using Google eyes. So there we go, they stuck now. All right, so now you're gonna use your pipe cleaner, and first off, you see this tiny little hole right here? You're gonna put one in right there and you're going to twist it, and you're gonna twist down here to make its legs. And then you can shape them however you want to. So mine's gonna kinda of look like Dimetrodon's legs. He's kinda of lizard looking. And then the second one's gonna go in the uh, metal part right here. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna twist it together to make the legs. All right, so there's my closed pin dino. We would love to see yours. So if you tag us in um, your dino that you made at home, we would enjoy seeing every shape of dino you have. Um, thanks for listening, guys.